life Made me react when I snatch a chain Nigga, this on sight If you talking all that shit You wanna fucking text To start off I think it should be made generally clear that this is not an XXX Tentacion album. I have to start with the statement for various reasons. One, the music on this album pre listened should not have expectations of experimental music like X himself made for his own projects. While members only are a talented and diverse rap group, due to their early installments of members on these mixtapes, they generally stick to the trap sound. And two, there are obviously more artists than just XXX Tentacion. X is not going to be present on every song. Knowing that is another post-humous project from him, I do not expect him to be on much of the songs. Starting with this rant does not mean I am not an X fan. Quite contrary. My channel logo has been this in honor of him even before knowing the cover of this project. I dedicate my channel to the type of music and artists that X either inspired and or is related to. Musically. Check out my other content. I'm just going to be fair, so if my review might not meet your expectations, understand it is my opinion on the subject matter. Also, I acknowledge that today is Jase's birthday, but since I do not celebrate birthdays due to my beliefs, I will give a long-lived Ja, and I miss you very much. Now on to the review. The album is long, so this part, this is a part one, and I'll keep my reviews for each track succinct and to the point. Worst thing in my life. In general, XXX Tentacion tribute style, the album is given into the track a monologue. X used to have monologues as the intro and sometimes the interlude. Really nice, genuine, not a song, but it pretty much sums up and gives relatable reactions to how we all felt losing him. It sets the tone for the rest of the album. A nice way to open up with the project expressing feelings for the late artist. Nothing seems to be a mellow and heartfelt track. The production is a nice, slow trap influence emo or melodic rap. I really enjoyed this. Kill Station, Cooley Cut, and Craig's End really bring together a mellow, mellow vibe to the song. I like it a lot and think it is definitely one of the better songs on the album. <laughs> Sauce is one of the tracks we were all waiting for as fans. A solo posthumous XXX Tentacion song. X really brings back nostalgic vibes with his whiny melody and vibey ad libs. He melodizes as a singer in the end nicely. Whether purposely or not, it feels like a complete song, unlike many songs on his Skins album. Really nice, and I'm sure fellow X fans had a big smile and were nodding their head to this wavy track. <laughs> XXX Tentacion opens this track with his grimy hook. The song is still mellow, but manages to be hard. Flyboy's vocals are some of the most chill and really match the melody. Kid Trunks' verse displays some of his killer flows. Trunks really killed this with his delivery. Bass Santana and Kinso did well too, utilizing all the tune cleverly with this melody and had impressive wordplay. However, X's verse, again, what we were all waiting for. Short but he used that funny singing tone we all missed. Kid Trunks ad-libs echo, letting you know that this is one of his styles of, of raps, uh, of songs. With his glings and A's, this is a trap pipe song. The repetitive hook and behind the scene and near constant ad-libs give this a flashy and bling to a tone to the album. Pick Your Poison is somewhat of a raging trap song. Tank Head comes in sounding off a war with a bouncy yet hard Waka Flocka type pipe rap. The song is gritty, aggressive, and short. Ichabod probably only had like a few seconds in his screaming verse though. I wish he had a longer verse. I enjoy the scream. I really enjoy these hard tracks. <laughs> This is probably biasly one of my favorites. The cheery and uplifting tempo and auto-tune vocals really give this song a, re a relaxing vibe. There was a point I thought Cooley Cut was Ski Mask due to his rasp on such a, a mellow track. But Ski Mask isn't even on this song. The song again, one of my favorites. Great production and vocal mixing. <laughs> This track is pretty good too. Similar to the last one, it has a smooth production, yet still bouncy. 
Craig Zinn and Flyboy really flowed on the melody. This is a song you can still party to, but also just listen to on a late night drive or something to have in the background when you're being social. It is really nice. A close second and probably number one, depending on my mood. It might be the best in the first half of the mixtape. I really love this one. This is perhaps the most heartfelt song of the first half of the project, or at least one of the two. Not much instruments besides light acoustics, just auto-tuned vocals, similar to a barbershop quartet. Really, really beautiful track. You can hear the emo rock influence, but the near silence makes this track more powerful. You can hear the importance in their voice. Really experimental and amazing track. As the project continues, you see it goes to much more experimental sounds. This is a very odd feature influence boom bap rap. Conscious and emotional. It blends emo and hip hop together well. Earl Sweatshirt could easily have fit into the song as well. Though it is not an odd feature song because a big part of the song is Kill Station vocalizing in it. it he has a singing vibe to it, which makes this track really good. X returns with this bouncy trap beat. The flows are what makes this impressive. You'll find yourself swaying to this even though the lyrics are pretty vulgar. If the lyrics were less on sexual content, this would be a really good song. However, the song isn't bad, just unusual to associate this chill song to something so explicit and pornographic. But so far, it is my least favorite. Not bad, but in general, I feel like it's the lesser of the first half. Just say on my wrist. This hard track with the title seemingly a tribute to X. They brought some of X's sounds like his signature, who this song meets up to half the project and really shows the group's determination to really stand on the newer wave of music. I really like it. Ski Mask has his typical pop culture rap style and I really like it. His wordplay is still probably the best in the group and his flow probably the best in arguably the rap game right now. Ski didn't display anything new, and that is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you just need a bit of a uh, of the nostalgic feeling. So far, the project is pretty good. As of right now, I'll just give it a seven out of ten. It could it could use a little more things that stand out, like songs that focus way more on extensive wordplay and just things that are kind of new. Besides, you know, a few songs. In my opinion, the the tracks one to the tracks seven to ten, ironically, <laughs> are the most experimental and are by far the top four of the better half. With Sauce being the fifth. Uh, uh, other critiques I have with this album, I feel like I don't know. I just I feel like it should bring something new. This is going to be a send off to one of the most experimental artists in the game. I feel like they should have just tried different things. I wouldn't have been upset coming into this and being like, what the heck is this, you know? That's me personally, but as I said, it isn't bad. They went to be safer instead of, you know, making a bad a bad mixtape. So, not bad, just nothing special, but really good. I'll try to focus on doing my part two as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you. Check out my other content, support the other artists.